Where do you get your inspiration? Where does this Shogun character come from in your heart? Well, the Shogun character comes from, I am always been the, the, when I was a football player, I was always the guy who was the football player who liked anime and video games. And the Shogun is nothing more than a video game final boss or an anime character. So I take all those influences and I kind of put it into this magnificent package to get the Shogun. How have you felt about this reception that you've got so far with this character? It seems like you have fans everywhere on YouTube, on social media that have been talking about this character. How does that feel? Everybody's been really great. Um, you know, I, I couldn't do it without the fans and their support, my Shogun it. Um, and you know what, it'll, it'll be great if that kind of support can, you know, prove elsewhere that, you know, maybe I'll be able to keep this character and keep doing what I'm doing. How essential has Booker T been to the creation and the, uh, the entire Shogun persona itself? Well, Booker T is the Shogun before the Shogun was the Shogun. I'm heavily influenced by, you know, Wu-Tang Clan and Kung Fu movies and uh, Show Nuff. And Booker T would be playing Show Nuff if they ever made a Last Dragon remake. So he's been a great help for that. So I know you've been in Houston for a while. You've been training down here, but you're not in Houston right now. Do you want to tell the fans anything at all? I'm not in Houston right now. I've actually just moved down to Orlando about a month ago. My tryout in February went extremely well, and I'll be starting at the Performance Center any day now. The biggest thing I'm looking forward to is just being able to seize the opportunity. I know there's some spots open. They're going to be moving a lot of guys around in the roster um, in the next couple of months. So I'm going to go there with the same work ethic that I brought here. I'm gonna, you know, grind every day, and you know, I'm gonna represent Houston in the reality of wrestling as best I can. Talk about how the transition's been. You played for the Houston Texans. You played for a couple different teams. Then to completely change crafts and become a professional wrestler. Just talk about how satisfying it is to finally be like, you know, yeah, where you well, are right now. You know now. what? This is this is really what I'm. I was supposed to do. This is what I've always wanted to do. Um, you know, I always say that. You know. We end up where we're supposed to for a reason. And, you know, there's a reason that, you know, a, a, a knee that is completely healthy now just wouldn't work when I was playing football. And I could get into wrestling at the age I'm getting into with the connection I've established from football and just knowing Booker from my time in Houston. And, you know, it's all just coming together perfectly. Your father was also a professional football player. Uh, how, does, how has he been uh, this whole time? Has he been really supportive of you too? He's been extremely supportive. You know, I've, I've played football for my entire life since I was seven years old. And, you know, he was one of the first people who kind of just told me is, you know what? You got all you can out of football. You know, you did, you, you got drafted in the third round. There's nothing to shake a stick at. You did your best. You, uh, you know, you were very highly ranked in college and you did very well, but it's time to chase some other dreams. And I'm fortunate to be a guy who has other things to chase. A lot of guys don't. And I was able to really dive in full force at you know, what I love. My final message to the fans, uh, you know, uh, whenever this goes up, uh, after my match tonight with Gino, I'm sure everybody can see I was pretty emotional. Uh, it was a really, you know, it felt like the ending of a chapter of my life the past six months. I helped build this arena with my hands. So. Uh, it was really heavy, and I just want everybody to know that, you know, I wouldn't be where I am without them, and just to keep supporting me, and we're just going to keep going until we can't stop. And where can fans find the Shogun? You can find the Shogun at Great Black Otaku right now. I don't know if they're going to make me change it, but right now that's what it is. Hey, best of luck to you, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Congratulations with everything. Thank you. Hey, y'all. Say hello to the bad guy. And I'm smartening you up. Do you want to check out Title Match Wrestling? All the cool cats are.